G'day aspiring engineers. In this video, we're up to the eighth basic tutorial out of 16. If you're following along, uh, then you're halfway through. Congratulations. If you're not, then go back to my channel and make sure that you're on the basic tutorials playlist and make sure that you start at number one there. Okay, stick around. Let's get into it. This part, number eight, is a very symmetrical part. It's symmetrical in every direction and every axis. Uh, so this is a good time to pay attention to getting our part uh, right in the middle and having the point of origin and the reference planes right where we want them. So there's two good reasons to want to have your uh, point of origin right in the center of the part. Firstly, it makes it much easier to model. Secondly, it takes a lot less computer resources to build a large assembly. So when you're adding lots of parts together in an assembly, your computer, your old computer probably, is going to be working much harder if you haven't been paying attention to where those reference planes and points of origin are in the model. Let me show you what I mean. So let's uh, turn on the point of origin first of all so that we can see that there. And you remember I turned off the grid in the last one or two. And so there it is. Now right click, that's always uh, quicker than going up hunting in the menus and create sketch off that right click menu choose a plane so hit the S key and I've got center rectangle on my sketch shortcuts so see my tips and tricks video if you need to learn how to do that one and I'm going to click on the point of origin and there's that center rectangle isn't that a beauty hit, I hope you're uh, learning these sh keyboard shortcuts let me remind you another one hit the D key to get the D the dimension toolbar or the dimension tool and uh, this one, as you can see from our drawing, is 50 millimeters, and the width of our rectangle is 80. Pretty close. Another rectangle right in the center there, I'm going to use the same tool, that is the center rectangle. I'm going to draw another one in there. And uh, actually, what I might do is show you this one. I'm going to uh, control click, control Z to get back there. Uh, hit this, do the same thing again, center rectangle, and you notice that you've got these little uh, focused fields ready for input and uh, Fusion 360 has got this one worked out over a couple of the other CAD programs so let's put the uh, the correct sizes in here it's 18 for the height of that little fella hit the tab key, no we'll use the, uh, the dimension tool to put the other one on there and that's 30 alrighty so now uh, we've got that uh, sketch you can see that there's a number of geometric constraints that are automatically applied there because we used that center rectangle tool uh, we've got a couple more to put on there let's use the uh, uh, the ordinary corner to corner rectangle tool and I'm going to put a put one on here and I'm going to put another one over there I'm going to make them purposely out of out of alignment and the wrong size but uh, let me show you how I'm going to take care of that. Uh, I'm going to hit the uh, S key and get the select tool. Uh, I want to get the top of this little sketch rectangle here. Hold down the shift key to get the top of the other one. I want to have those things not only equal, that's both of those equal. I'm going to select them again and shift to collect the other one and make them collinear. And that means that they line up. Now, um, I want to put one dimensional constraint on the on the width of one of those little uh, sketch things and you can see this needs to be well 80 minus 50 is 30 divided by 2 is 15 and that's the right size the next thing I want to do is use the S key to find the the trim tool have the trim tool on your sketch shortcuts and we'll take out that uh, little piece that's in the middle there Notice I had to click twice because there's two sketch entities there. There were two lines, one superimposed over the other. I'll do the same over here. Whoop. Let's use the uh, S key to make sure that we've got the trim tool active. Now here's this S key, make sure that I've got the select tool. I want to select that line as well as shift that line and make those equal. Let's see now, I want to make sure that I've got this one and shift select this one I want those to be equal as well so with the minimum of dimensional constraints and the maximum of geometric constraints we've got this one uh, well and truly nailed down 
Our sketch is finished and in order to move on to the next step all I've got to do is hit the E key for extrude or the other name that it has is the push pull tool. So uh, it's dropped us out of the sketch and advanced us to the next stage which is to create a feature and this is an extruded feature. So all I've got to do now is select the, uh, the profile of what we want to extrude. I'm going to give it a drag, but this time we're going to do something a little different. We're not going to use uh, one side, we're going, to do a, we're going to do a symmetric extrusion. Now, don't get caught if we put in uh, the correct distance, which is, you notice that it's 60 on the drawing. Well, let's do that anyway, 60. And we know, but the thing is that we've got this uh, a little bit too far now because it's going in two directions. It's doubled it up. So let me show you how to measure something in Fusion 360. Uh, on the inspect tool here we have the measure. The measure dialog box opens and now we've just got to select one of this is the an edge that we want to know the distance of and it pops up the length here. You notice that it's 120. That's because we went in two directions we ended up doubling the extents. In which case what we'll do is we'll close the, uh, the measure tool this time what we're going to do is look down here in the bottom and where we can see the history in the bottom bar of the, the screen. And what I want to do is right click on the, uh, on the extrusion feature and mouse up to edit feature. Left click on edit feature and now we've got another chance to do the uh, extents. And the distance will change to 30 so that we'll get double of that which is 60 and we'll do the inspect and measure and it is 60 millimeters that's correct okay now notice that we've got the point of origin right in the center of the part it's because we did the symmetrical extrusion and we were careful about putting our sketch right there on the middle and uh, the quickest and easiest way to do that is to begin the sketch with the center rectangle tool because this is a rectangular shape okay that's it for today uh, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already Give us a like if you liked it, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.